In this video, I will show you um, some of the maintenance tips of um, wood burning stove. Of course, you burning wood. Um, so I have in front of me my la the large um, um, f uh, wood burning stove that I have. I have another one is small, and I made some video. Please watch those and um, get my opinion on uh, two different model that I have and why you would need to have a large or a small. Um, you know, so you can make a best decision. So in this uh, video, I will show you one of the things that I was struggling uh, to find and I found uh, found the right um, uh, material. So I will show you, which is that if you have a good morning stove, you, um, you have to clean the ash. And um, ash means that is, it could be lots of uh, charcoal, hot charcoal might be, and where do you put it? Uh, so you have to put in a protected area. And I was looking for um, various um, metal container. And this is that uh, sort of like a elongated oval shape and about um, seven inch height from the um, floor. So this one, I there are some metal bucket of the same volume, but more of a rounder shape. So I chose this unit and it's, it works perfectly. It has handle, it's a very thick metal, galvanized um, um, metal. And I bought this from Home Depot. You could might find on the um, other store, Walmart also, probably about $17 around. So for $17 is a very good price. And uh, as I mentioned that you have a, uh, uh, when you clean it, you will have a lot of charcoal. Um, you still, um, you still um, have a fire in it. And it's hard to um, actually have, it's gonna take only, uh, almost seven, eight hours to those charcoal to burn out even open air. So I clean, um, clean this um, stove and I leave this in this bucket right in front of it, probably a day and all this charcoal sort of like a, a bumps out. So there, there is no risk that if I throw somewhere, um, there will be a fire uh, who will start it. So to, uh, for that a reason that I keep it in this metal bucket and I leave it for this uh, temperature, um, that the thermal barrier that I have in the floor. And another th um, uh, positive thing about it, let's see that you have some charcoal and you cleaned up and you put it somewhere outside and you're losing that heat that you might have from the charcoal. So in this case, I'm uh, living in right in front of it and whatever the heat from this uh, burning charcoal that I have left in there, um, the, uh, my place would be getting that energy and not um, getting wasted outside. Other thing is that if you see that this is an elongated, so any fireplace, you hold it in front of fireplace opening and you open this and you scoop out right, you can dump here. So there is not that much movement because when you're cleaning the, um, um, the ash, uh, you have to do it very gently because you don't want it to do lots of movement um, and in the air and you want it to do a slow dump. So. Uh, dumping into the bucket so you don't uh, actually have lots of ash uh, um, uh, release into the air because if you're burning a wood burning a stove so always you will have some dust sitting as you see that you don't want it to increase that uh, to the air quality of uh, inside your house or you would have to um, then clean everything, um, every surfaces that often. So this is a very um, good uh, use of this bucket. Uh, this bucket is not made for <laughs> exactly for um, ashes uh, for wood burning, but lots of things he could um, improvise to use for other purpose. So this is perfectly working for me. And I would suggest that you um, have uh, one. And there is a, uh, of course the fan is still, uh, fan. This is a bar, uh, actually spinning, moving the hot air to the other room or area. I have another video about it, so please, if you have a wood burning stove, you must have them. This is a, one of the most inexpensive way to uh, move um, hot air around your stove to other part of the house. So thank you for watching. If you have not 
subscribe my channel i would greatly appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel i'll post various video about um about farmhouse or home estate um what you need and various uh, videos about plants cooking uh, healthy diet uh, etc thank you for watching